So this is the newest project that I have on the bench. It's going to be, it's probably going to be a series of videos that I intend to do. This is a very, very rare Garter AKM. For people who, uh, for people who follow the Garter line, they know exactly how rare it is to have a kit. Um, probably the last time that these were produced. These, these are the first generation of garter kits, so um, they were probably last produced in 2000 and uh, 2008, if I'm not mistaken, or even earlier than that, probably around 2007, 2006. And um, what some people don't know is garters uh, especially the first generation of garters were actually uh, commissioned to be to be made under Enokatsu so that that's the reason why they're very highly coveted right now um, they were last produced with uh, the same uh, they're, they're the same generation as um, as that gun my AK plum Garter AK plum. So, uh, what to expect in the next videos is I'll probably do uh, a top to bottom um, de rusting, removing small rust spots uh, from uh, from the metal parts, and I'll probably be changing this charging handle to to a garter charging handle. <clears throat> We'll also be we'll also be tackling some some home oil bluing of uh, small parts like this uh, like this cleaning rod and also small concerns um, like uh, like changing the screws. I'll, I'll try to look for the original ones. Okay, can see there. Um, also, I, I want to look into changing the upper part to a wood one. Uh, th this this uh, paint scheme was actually uh, was actually commissioned to me by the former owner. I did all the painting, so it has that sunburst. Uh, also known as uh, burned wood effect on the ends and um, it looks really nice in person and I tr I'll, I'll probably try to mimic m either mimic it uh, with uh, with an, a wood upper hand guard or I'll probably change it um, or I'll, I might even change and strip all the paint from the existing parts and then restain it let's see what the let's pro, let's see in the next couple of videos so what i decide on is there internals probably we can expect that um <clears throat> as with all the guns that that i do i'll, I'll probably i'll install um my very last smu mosfet also uh of course change all the wiring uh change all the bucking change the old bucking and um, see what else um, what what's the current status of the gear teeth along with the piston body teeth and hopefully we can we can end up with a very very well maintained shiny uh, garter unit and um, I hope that uh, in the next couple of videos uh, you can you can learn from uh, from the things that I've done to this rifle. Okay, catch you guys next time.